Sometimes the reason that our grasslands here in the southeast are disappearing isn't just because of humans on the landscape destroying those grasslands. Sometimes it's the absence of humans on the landscape. And this is a great example of that. This right here is some charred eastern red cedar from where a fire had came through here in the past. And I've been here on this property when I was a kid and this landowner's owned this place probably longer than I've been alive. I don't think it's been burned since he's owned the property. So it's been probably 30, maybe 40 years, maybe even longer than that since a fire has come through this limestone barren. The reason that that would have helped out our grasslands is because Eastern red cedar, especially these small ones like this one, hate fire, they hate prescribed fire. And so when a fire comes through here, it kills those cedars and then it allows sunlight to get to the ground. When these cedars get big, they keep their leaves on year round and they shade out the, uh, the forest floor and uh, don't allow our native wildflowers, our native grasses to come up and uh, produce seeds and keep on living. So the lack of fire on the landscape, that's one of the reasons we're losing a lot of our grasslands. So we're gonna cut down cedars on this place and we're gonna put fire back on this landscape and that's gonna help out our native grasses and our native wildflowers that that are found here so and there's a lot of really important ones at this site.